What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And somebody just asked me something and I want to share with you guys. They asked me, can you name me the most underrated drill rapper, a rapper from Chicago on the underground scene? That's kind of hard to do because I could be here all day naming those guys. There's a lot of guys from Chicago who dope as hell, who got that flow, who got them bars, who got the background, the image. But it's hard to get the machine. It's hard to get a buzz uh, on this internet shit unless you look up and go viral kind of style and bullshit. That's kind of how the internet works. People don't really care about your bars. They want to know about your life. Then they be interested in your bars. It's kind of backwards. I get it. But um, if I had to pick a person, I can't do that. So I'm going to just say part one because I can do these videos all day. But if I'm going to name somebody who underrated from Chicago, I'm going to actually get in the car and I'm going to ride to the west side. Because we normally be picking people on the south side because they start trending in the culture. A lot of those guys got famous. But I'm going to say one of the most underrated people from Chicago is a guy by the name of Mikey Dollars. I think this got to be one of the most famous underground rappers from Chicago. Remember I said it's the real music culture and then it's the Chicago culture. And he famous in the Chicago culture. This guy got songs with some of the legends in the drill culture, famous people, NBA people, celebrities. Uh, he's been doing millions of views for a long time time he's been rapping for a long time he was in a famous group in chicago mic with ill will and uh little chris k town you know he didn't have internet beefs and shit too but i'm gonna tell you why i think mikey dollars uh people know him like i tell you he a legend people know him now you know outside the city they know him too but i think he should be known a little bit more but i think the fact that he don't really be on the internet dissing he has been involved in shit with like, you know, Rico Reckless and other people, but that got patched up. He not really a guy that be dissing dead people and shit like that on those songs. And for some reason, the fans like that. But Mikey Dollars did millions of views on YouTube, close relationship with FBG Duck and a lot of the legends in the game. Uh, King Louis, you know, I'm talking about Mubu Crump, all kind of people, you know. Uh, I just think the none dissing shit. It's the reason he might be overlooked just an inch. But people know exactly what's going on. A lot of people don't know. Mikey Dollars is actually the first person I ever did a face-to-face -face interview with ever. Uh, when I was doing the old YouTube channel. He actually kept me safe. He let me come to his neighborhood. I went in one of their neighborhoods over there in the crib. I ain't gonna lie, it was crazy too. When I went over there, you know, they came on the porch. It was like 12 dudes. They all had pipes. I hope it looked like Mikey. I'm sorry for telling this story, but it was like, man, this shit was like, it was real. Like, they don't just let no stranger through their shit. Like, that shit was structured out. You know what I'm saying? I seen chemo. You know what I'm saying? I seen a few people that that shit was dope. But Mikey Dollars gave me an opportunity to speak with him. Um, I think the guy's underrating the coach. I'm going to actually reach out to him. I've been reaching out to him, but he's been busy. Because I heard news that he was shot. Heard that his son was shot. You know, uh, God is good because they both got through that. This was a little while ago, so it's not fresh news. But, you know, I just heard it, you know. And I was shocked at that, you know. Uh, but God is good. Both of them people here, you know, you see Mikey posting his son all the time on the Instagrams and shit like that. Seeing like he on his daddy pride shit, which I think is dope. But uh, like I say, I'm going to reach out to him. But I noticed in this drill culture, they just like a lot of drama because he started going super viral with his beef with Rico Reckless and a fight that they had in the club and all kind of shit. He was on the blog sites every day. But it's like once he stopped, they kind of like, mm, they fuck with his music. But I think he a legend. So, you know, I ain't holding that. True telling that holding. People be like, man, you holding. I ain't holding nobody. I think I'd be honest. I think Buddy Dope. Uh, and I'm going to reach out to him. You know, because a lot of people say, truth, it's legends everywhere. And it is, you know. And it's legends in some of these suburbs of Illinois. You got to remember, Illinois is very, very close to Chicago. So, you know, we can't leave nobody out. Cause it's it's real shit going on in Latinos neighborhood. It's real shit going on in Little Village, Humboldt Park. Uh, I'm sorry that I don't want to name communities because I'll leave names out. It's, it's, it's street shit. The drill coaches everywhere. And I ain't going to lie. Somebody told me that, you know, I'm leaving like the Puerto Ricans out and, you know, some of the Mexicans out because they got hoods. This street shit going on over there, too. You know, so we're going to figure out the culture and document it. But uh, keep your donations to yourself. It's hard out here. You don't got no time to be giving me your money. You know, the summer coming. You got to do something nice for them kids, man. I'm a grown man. I figure it out. You want to support me? You hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Because we almost at that 100K. We've been running and y'all been with this shit with me together. Some of us been together since zero subscribers. 
that was only like 14, 15 months ago, you know? Uh, so I started this YouTube channel. I had this YouTube channel. Uh, I used to just watch videos on it. But I posted my first video on this channel about 14, 15, about 14, 15 months ago. And we about to hit 100,000 subscribers, man. We over 35 million views. So it seems like we learning a lot. You know, I appreciate the culture, man. Y'all is awesome. Y'all is dope for what y'all have done. Uh, and we learning about this. I'm going to make sure I stay humble with this. Make sure I put God first. And make sure we keep blessing. Because one thing you guys don't know, we do a lot of blessing people. But I think I got to put some of the blessing that I be doing on camera. Because some people don't know. You know, and it ain't about proving it. Because I don't want to prove nothing. Because we've been blessing people on the streets behind the camera for a year now. You know, God has been good to us. So we have been rewarding people. You know, but I think, you know, I'd be seeing people say, man, you got to get back to the hood. And they don't know that we giving back tremendously. We just not filming it. You know, this person might not want to struggle on the Internet. You know, people be filming, giving somebody some money and shit and doing things like that. People don't want to be filmed and shit. People don't want you to know they going through shit. You know what I'm saying? So, but I think we're going to have to film a few just so some people can understand that we are giving back to the communities in Chicago. Um. But I appreciate the love. It's the homie True Teller Street Porter. Black, 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 black. Come look out the window with me, huh? Look, we in the rack. Y'all see? Come on. Let's let y'all see.